Well, it's finally here. We've <laughs> got so many requests for this video. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. Today we're going to talk all about Scout. If you're new to our channel, Scout is our three-year-old bearded dragon. He just turned three. Just had a birthday. Just turned. And he's a big boy. He is a big boy. <laughs> It's my chunky monkey. And of course, you've already probably uh, noticed that I've been calling him he, so he is a he. <laughs> and uh, we did have one before, and it was a female, but now we have Scout, and um, we travel full time with Scout on the road. So mm -hmm. it's a very unusual pet to take on the road. And we've made several modifications in our RV, which some people think is crazy. Yeah. But we've made a lot of modifications just so Scout lives more comfortably on the road with us. That's true. Right. We're going to talk to you all about Scout's modifications. We're going to talk to you about how he travels, <laughs> all the questions, all the stuff. So everything Scout. Yeah, let's get into it. First, <laughs> we're going to talk about the RV modifications. Okay. Almost this entire area over here <laughs> is modified for Scout. So there's several things. Um, the first thing that you'll probably notice is the heat lamps. So what we did was we plug these in on the side and we have little command hooks and hold these so that the heat lamps dangle down. And so Scout can stay out all the time. He's free range. He really only sleeps up in his habitat. Uh, for the rest of the time, he is completely free in the RV. Even when we're not here, he runs around. And we modified it uh, so that he could get up on the sides. So he has, he has ramps over here. These are just made out of ladders for birds that we got at the pet store. And we put some shelf liner on there so, so he can grip it and go up. And then we also put the shelf liners on the couch uh, in the gray color to match better so he can climb either up the ramp or he can climb up the side of the couch and then back here this is a little padded area for him to hang out um, this lamp has a heat and a UV because he does require artificial UV because he is an indoor reptile he doesn't get the UV in the wild so we have to artificially get it. he does get a lot of sunlight through the through the window but we have to give him some artificial UV uh, he does like to climb this pillow from time to time also to get up to the top and he has the same setup on the other side to get up or down he usually uses the sides to go up and he usually uses this thing to go down now this is a staircase designed specifically for dogs but we figured it would be good for scout also uh, so scout mostly uses this to go down and it's funny because he rarely uses the step part he mostly will try to ramp himself down <laughs> the side of the ramp, which is which is pretty funny. And and you're thinking this is a lot and this is elaborate, and it really is. But in about five minutes' time, we can break all this down. So if we have company, we can put Scout in his habitat. We can break all this down, and it goes away and looks completely normal, like our RV was brand new. Now this ottoman right here, also when we're not using it, um, you can lift the lid. The stairs fold in. So now you have either a footstool or an ottoman for the guests that are hanging out here. They can put their feet up or they can put their drink on it or whatever. Like I said, it was it was designed for dogs, but it's perfect for Scout. We'll leave a link to that in the description of the video. And you can find all the stuff that we're talking about in our Amazon store too. Alright, next we're going to show you Scout's habitat. And like I said before, this is basically just where he sleeps at at night he's out during the day and this is located right above the tv and leslie gonna tell us all about scout's habitat <laughs> not much to tell we kept this one simple the montana was very elaborate but this one now that we know he will not stay in it during the day he wants to be out there's no need to make it glorified for him anymore he's only sleeping in it so in here this time we only did the incline birch for him because Lizards like height. They want to go tall if they can and look out. So we ramped his birch so he can get elevated. Hide his cords with some fake plants because I don't like cords. Cords are a no-no. We recently gave him a cork hide to climb through and on top, which he is thoroughly enjoying. They like that hide option. We put a, his old ramp back in here and climbed it to the plank of wood which he will bask on when he is in there getting ready for bed at night. If he doesn't sleep on the ramp he sleeps up on the birch with his legs dangling and he will not awake until his lights come back on in the morning at 8 a.m. His basking lights and his UV light are mounted via magnets 
on a metal bracket that I just screwed to the ceiling. His doors were very simple. These are $10 picture frames at Hobby Lobby with plexiglass instead of real glass. And when he wants out in the morning, he takes his face and does that. <laughs> and I get my butt up and I let him out. <laughs> his door is held on by magnets. We use the same magnets that the cabinets use. We just move them up a little higher, put handles on here. I never use the handle though, because these are strong magnets. So I just grab the frame, pull it down. And that way we're able to get them in and out at any of the options. We added these carpet runners and the sole purpose of these is so that Scout will have a little bit of grip when he jumps up he has something to grab onto to pull him up. At the bottom down here you can see he has this little piece of thing to help him get up to the top. Now in the uh, Alliance, uh, straight from the manufacturer, under this bottom step where this shoe cubby is, it was open so we had to put some mesh down there because we don't want Scout getting down to the basement where all the ducting and the wiring is. And speaking of ducting and wiring, if you watch the video where Scout got trapped, he got trapped under the island, and under the island we put cardboard to uh, block that off so he couldn't get in there anymore. Uh, but we, the next day after we filmed the video, we came up with the permanent solution, and the permanent solution was some um, gutter grating that we cut down and stapled up underneath the island so he doesn't get stuck anymore. Um, now that we've shown you all the modifications of the RV that we've done for Scout and his habitat, uh, we'll show you how he travels and then on days where we're staying either in a hotel or family or friends, we'll show you how he stays there too. This is uh, Scout's setup. He has this uh, portable ottoman. It's collapsible and uh, so we have it popped up. Seat belt has got him locked in. Here comes our booger. Uh, his travel case is up here. And on the inside of his travel case, he does have a heat lamp inside of there. And then the cord runs down and over there and plugs into the truck up front. And here he goes in. And the reason we did this is so that uh, he would sit up higher and be able to see out. Because we had before his carrier just sitting down here. And he would freak out. Uh, he likes to see what's going on outside. So we set him up higher and he's been a lot better now that he's can see stuff. I like to see, Mom. Yes, you do. <laughs> so here he is all set up. He's up in there. Heat lamp's on to keep him warm because it's a little chilly outside today. And sometimes he'll sit there quietly for the whole trip. And sometimes freak out. he freaks out and wants out. So if he does freak out, sometimes he'll get up into uh, Leslie's lap for a little bit uh, just to be able to look out up here. But um, for the most part, he's a pretty good rider. All right, so that's how Scout travels, and he travels really well. He's an excellent traveler. Yeah, he does really good. Yeah. Now, we're going to get to all of the burning questions and all the fun questions that we've gotten about yeah. Scout throughout the year and a half that we've been on the road. Yeah. So first of all, what does Scout eat? Scout, what he eats and what he should eat are two <laughs> totally different things. He's a toddler. <laughs> he is a picky eater, but Scout mostly eats worms. Yeah. Not just worms you find in your yard. They are store-bought, gut-loaded, healthy worms for him. Not, not to say he doesn't snag a worm, a caterpillar, a bumblebee every now and then when he's outside. He does. Because he does, but that <laughs> can't be his diet if that's not healthy. Yeah. So he will eat super worms, mm -hmm. which are just very fatter than mealworms. They're like mealworms on steroids, but yeah. they are. He loves those. He loves silkworms, which are larvae of worms. They, yeah, they didn't make it worm. to worm yet. Yeah, and those aren't live. Those are canned that we buy from the yeah. store. Yeah, and then wax worms. Mm -hmm. uh, those are treats because they're high in fat. They look like big maggots. Yeah, they do look like big Oof. maggots. But he loves them, yeah. loves them to death. But those are treats. You don't get those very often. Yeah. Uh, and then he has, since his birthday, he has been doing better. Yeah. I don't know if because he's older now. Yeah, he's been... But he's eating his salads more. So yeah. fruits, vegetables are supposed to be his primary source, but they're not. Yeah. They're a secondary source to him. But at least he's eating some now. But he is. He can eat melons, so 
peppers, like yeah. your bell peppers. He ate some cantaloupe the other day. Can yeah, like cantaloupe, apples. Yeah. And you didn't talk about his favorite kind of worm. Oh, yes. The hornworm. The hornworm. That's his favorite. Also, I guess, is known as a tomato worm. Yeah, the big green the juicy big ones. big green ones with a little horn on their head. Yeah, and they almost always squirt when yeah. he eats them. It's nasty. It is nasty. Sometimes I have to <laughs> wipe his beard. <laughs> yeah, and um, so now that we got the food stuff out of the way, the, the biggest question that we always get... It is. Where does Scout go to the bathroom? The answer is wherever Scout feels like it. Sometimes in the bathroom. Sometimes he does go to the bathroom. <laughs> he does not like to be watched. He does not like you to see him go to the bathroom. Yeah. So if we're out here and he has to go, he will leave the couch, climb the stairs, and go into the bathroom. Do his business, come back out, sit back at the window. Yeah. And people say, well, man, that's, that's kind of nasty that he just goes everywhere. But... So bearded dragons only go about once or twice a week. Once and, they're full grown. And once they're full grown. And um, it looks like bird poop. So it's not, they don't pee. Yeah. So they got the, like the brown it's part and then the little white part yeah. of the, look what looks like bird poop. And it just really is easy to scoop up and clean up. I ain't gonna lie. It smells god awful. Yeah, it's not good. It smells like death yeah. for the few seconds that it's there. Mm -hmm. But it's wiped up, uh, floor scrubbed bagged in a poo bag we have poo bags <laughs> tie it off smell instantly gone oh man but and those few seconds it's a you're holding your breath yeah and so sometimes when he goes he rubs his butt to get it wipe yeah. his butt basically <laughs> yeah and sometimes he'll run his feet through it or his tail through it if or he he'll turns walk around back through it walks through it so bad. then it's bath time it is bath time which sometimes he likes sometimes he hates which he needs uh regularly anyway yeah because that is their source of water. Yeah, sometimes he'll drink a little bit of the, the water when he first gets in the bath, mm -hmm. but they do absorb it and yeah, through, yeah. through the skin. So, and then the big green hornworms are a good source of those are excellent water source of too. water. So that's good. Yeah. Um, and he is he is a little spoiled. Yeah, he's spoiled. Well, I say a little spoiled. Look at all the stuff. <laughs> I mean already, but what I mean by spoiled is so he goes on walks. He does have a leash. He goes for walks. <laughs> Takes a while to do a walk with him because he yeah. doesn't continuously walk and it's not like a dog where you can go hey we're going this, this way. way yeah uh we walk where scout wants to walk yes if it's in circles it's in circles and <laughs> and really like a like a 30 minute walk is from the door out to the end of the driveway and then he also has a stroller he does have a stroller <laughs> so dumb and no matter what this one says he loves the stroller he does like the he stroller did. because he likes to be outside he likes the sunlight and the stroller kind of keeps him enclosed where he feels protected. Yes, he's safe from birds. Yeah. And he can go see more things with us. Yeah, he's scared. We can take scared. him to the ponds. We can, you know, take him fishing with us. And yeah. he can sit there and be safe. One of the other questions we always get is how, how long will Scout live? live? Mm hmm Yeah. So on average, a bearded dragon will live 10 to 12 years, give or take, on their genetics. Yeah. And how well they're cared for. How big will Scout get? <laughs> that varies too. Yeah. <laughs> Scout is as long as Scout is going to be. Yeah. But Scout will grow this way. <laughs> he keeps getting wider. Because <laughs> she keeps he feeding him. <laughs> he shouldn't be this wide. But if my baby's hungry, I'm going to feed him. He's like, he's looking at us right now like, I'm right here. Oh, yeah. You're talking about my weight. <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> and so uh, another thing that people ask us is, is, you know, do bearded dragons have personalities like other pets like dogs cats and, and whatever absolutely yes, has a personality they do and, and both of our bearded dragons have had opposite personalities totally different uh rocky was just fearless really didn't care about much very she was not going. scared outside from the predators no he gets freaked out outside he's spooked by his own shadow really and because he is a male they have to show their dominance Yes. So he'll run up across the couch. If there's another animal back that he can see mm -hmm. through the window, he will run across the top of the couch and he'll bob his head. Yeah. And bobbing of the head is a, a show the of dominance, dominance for, yeah. for bearded dragons and a lot of other lizards too. But, uh, but these guys, he has no idea that the windows are tinted and they can't see him. <laughs> That's right. So he thinks he's in charge. Yes. Yes. And it, just a second ago when we were talking about his weight and we said his name, he looked he over will, at he us. He knows his name. So he knows his he name. He responds to his name. He, yeah. 
or he will not respond because if you say his name, sometimes he just closes his eyes and ignores you. Or he'll purposely turn his head away. Or turn. Or just close the eye that's closest to you and make you think he's asleep, and then he's not. But he's not. Yeah. <laughs> um, the other question we get is, uh, will he bite? Answer is no. Yeah. He absolutely will not bite. Uh, I'm sure if you stuck your finger down his throat, he probably would bite you. Yeah, well, yeah, because nobody um, wants a finger to jam down their face. But he's never bitten anybody, no. never even acted like he's going to bite anybody. When he does get upset, though, his beard will turn black. Yes. And sometimes he will He'll puff his beard it. out. That's why they call a bearded dragon. Uh, but he does that, um, you know, just... As a deterrent. Yeah. He's just trying to get people away from him or, or yeah. predator or whatever. He wants that thing to leave and go away. Yeah. Uh, so they're... they're first defense mechanism is mm -hmm. not to bite it's just puff their beard sometimes they'll flatten out real flat if they yeah. think they're in trouble uh to make themselves a, a bigger harder thing to eat <laughs> yes you know but other than that all he does is lick yeah and he that's how he everything. smells you anyway yeah. so anyway we hope that we answered all your questions about <laughs> scout we love having scout he's an yeah. awesome travel buddy we look forward to many yeah. more years traveling with scout yeah i couldn't imagine bringing any other animal yeah. into the rv and traveling yeah, and he does really Because he's well. low maintenance. He is. We can, we do all our exploring. We're gone all day. All day. We can go away for a weekend. We could. And leave Scout in his habitat and he will be perfectly fine because he does not need to eat every day. Yeah. Not necessarily even every week. Yeah. Sometimes Beardies will go a week with, or two without eating anything if they want to. Yeah. So he doesn't need the food and water. He's good to go. He's good to go. Heat's not a problem. The no. RV could get warmer than we like. Yeah, the power but goes it's not out. Gonna bother him. Air conditioner goes out. The temperature in the RV will go up, and he will love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No complaints from him. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, we hope we covered everything. If you have any questions that we didn't cover mm -hmm. or we didn't think of to put in the video, leave us a comment below. Let us know what uh, questions you have about Scout. Yes, we'll be happy to answer those. And if you have a unique travel pet, please let us know about that yeah. too, because. We always like to hear about different kinds of animals that are out there on the road. Yeah, because all you really see when you're in campgrounds are cat and dogs. Yeah. That's all you see. So he's a talking point, too. He is. He's a conversation starter. People come by our site and they have to double take. Yeah. They are not sure what they're seeing. <laughs> yeah. Well, like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you want to see all the ways that you can help us help veterans while we're out there on the road, everything you need to know is down here in the description of this video. We appreciate you watching. And from us and Scout, yeah. we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.